All right, everybody, fire away. All right. So, uh, bit of a, bit of a tough weekend this weekend, would you say? Longer? Yeah, it was, it was real tough. Obviously, uh, I, I thought we, we battled hard and we competed hard. Uh, we came up on the short end, and there's a lot of things from the weekend that we can definitely work off of and learn from. And we started that today with, with our first practice of the week and our teaching points uh, video already today with them. And, uh, but on the flip side, you know, we had great goaltending. There's a lot of positive we were able to pull out of this this weekend, uh, despite coming back with without any wins. Uh, and you know, that's what we got to do. We got to build off it. And as I said to our guys after today's practice, that weekend's done. You know, we got to move forward to this coming Friday. I've heard coaches talk about uh, how a team practices after a defeat. Mm -hmm. Tells a lot about the character of the team, so on and so forth. Your assessment of yeah, we kids. we had a, a real tough one today. No, no. Uh, out about it. It was a good hour and 45 minutes of uh, a lot of one-on-ones, two-on-twos, battles, conditioning. Uh, there wasn't one break, and, and our guys knew that. Uh, it was more of, of a assessment of, of what we did with, with the reason why we did it was because of our, our penalties. I thought our penalties were, were lazy penalties. I thought we took too many hooking, holding those interference penalties, and we got to get that in the butt. And, and um, so with that, we came back, and, and the best way to get right back into to uh, play mode is to, is to battle and, and to get guys going. And they went for an hour and 45 minutes hard today. And, you know, the tempo was great. You know, you had seniors battling with each other. No one no one uh, complained. Everyone just kept pushing forward, and, and, and they know. And, and we're going to use this weekend as a, as, a, as a stepping stone for us and, and let us learn. And I was real happy with them. They got a good lift in afterwards. You know, they got home for the afternoon. Rest and probably playing their their video games and doing some homework. Hopefully there, and uh, um, you know we'll get right back at it tomorrow morning at ten. Okay, um, kind of going back to the goalie play. I said that was one of the positives from this weekend. Um, you sort of threw them both in there one game, then another. See how they did. Yep. Um, and this one, the sounds of not be able to beat the game. It sounds like they held their own, including Andrew Hammond. Yeah. Freshman. Well, you know, with Friday night, Nick Nick played really well. You know, that was the best I've seen Nick play in my year and, and a half here, you know, from, from last year and that. And, and uh, you know, he, he really just stepped up, you know, in regards to his play and his confidence out there today. And it was um, it was really exciting to watch him because, again, he challenged so much. He made a lot of second saves. Uh, he looked very athletic. Uh, he looked light on his skates. And then on Saturday, Andrew came in and faced a few more shots and made a lot of great second saves. Uh, for us, and, and both of them played a very good athletic uh, game for us, and they were square to the puck, and their rebounds were, were um, uh, minimized. And you know, they were our best penalty killers. We said that all along. On, on Friday, I think we were seven for seven on the kill. Nick Eno was our best penalty killer, and I know um, Saturday we went two for they went two for eight, maybe I think it was on the on the on their power play. But again, uh, Andrew Hammond kept us in, and that was huge for us. And you know, it's great to have that right now going for us and you know that gives us confidence up, up front and it's going to allow us to take a few more chances because we know we've got uh, two good goalies in the back end. Okay. Um, kind of briefly talking about the power play and penalty kill. Last week you talked about trying to even them out, get to that 100%. How well did you guys think you did that, minimizing the mistakes and capitalizing on the ones that uh, they made? Well, I, I don't think our power play was su successful. Uh, we were one for 15 maybe it was. I think we were. Um, you know, that's that's unacceptable. Um, power plays are where games can be won. The belly came to where games can be won and lost and on that side of things. So I thought our, our power play just needs to – they need to understand and, and think two or three plays uh, uh, ahead of what they want to do with the puck. So if I'm getting it on that half wall, you know, i got to know that my options are down low or maybe it's back up at the top and i got to go to the net and find different areas. And uh, I think we need to do a, a better job of that. And we'll get to that again all week uh, with them. And – um, on the flip side, on our, on our penalty kill, um, I thought we did a good job. You know, being a big ice surface out there, it was uh, our D were still a little hesitant to pressure. We, we want to jump guys, want to jump jump the half hole, jump the low forward, and not give them time to set up. But again, an extra 15 feet of ice um, was tough for our guys, I think, to make that adjustment. We had a slight uh, hesitation in our step, but that slight um, uh, hesitation is the difference of being able to make a pass through the seam or, or stopping them. So, I think coming back to our rink on a, on a little bit smaller sheet than what we're used to is is going to help us um, with both our PP and PK. What do you know about this team Friday? Friday's team, they're going to be a very skilled team. 
Uh, they have a lot of guys that will probably be future National Hockey League players on their team, uh, high draft picks. It's going to be a, a game where we got to be very physical against them. You know, they played a lot of opponents tough this year already, BC, BU, they played Michigan. So, you know, they're playing up there and they're, they're hanging in with, with those teams, you know, 4-2, 5-3, 6-3. Uh, it's a team that we can't uh, afford to turn pucks over at our blue line. we got to make sure we get our pucks out. And, and again, we got to uh, maximize our, our four check and we got to finish checks on them and try to wear and tear them down. And, and most importantly, we want to play um, a 5-on-5 five five hockey game with them. You know, we, I don't, and I've said this all along, I, I don't want to get into special teams. I want us to outwork teams five on five. And we can get all five guys going on the ice. We can roll four lines and play 6D. We're effective. When we get in a little bit of trouble right now is when we start getting penalties, we're asking some guys to be PPPK and then five on five. We're starting to get tired. So it's better for us to stick to five on five hockey. And against an opponent like this, you know, they're probably wanting PP time, you know, because again, they're a very high skilled team. And so we got to make sure we, we stick to the basics and do all the small things right and get ready to compete for a full um, 60 minutes. Similar approach to Wolfram Laurier. <clears throat> it's an exhibition game, but you, you want to experiment, learn about the team, but winning is the. Win- winning is the, 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 most thing, is the most important thing for us, yeah. We're going into this game, you know, because again, we got Providence the following weekend. Um, you know, we, we beat Laurier. We, we gave two away this weekend. We got to get back on that winning track going into our non conference opponent, which leads us right into our, our season. So, um, we're taking this game no different than, than any other game again. And, um, you know, we're going to dress the best 12 forwards, best 60, and play the best goalie. How, uh, how important do you think it is now to get back to the home ice? Kind of get back to your fans, your crowd? Yeah, uh, it's exciting. You know, this is what. We won, you know, it was, it was nice, no, no doubt, to get out of town and over the long weekend and just be able to think hockey for the players. But it's this is home for us. This is where you want to be. Uh, we're looking forward to the next two weekends being here in front of our crowd, in front of our fans, and show them what we have here. And it's something that we're we're proud of. And we look forward to the to the battle come Friday and and prepare us for the following weekend against Providence. So it's I know our guys are excited. You know, it's I know they're on full break right now, like you said, for the next couple of days and. They have some time to rest right now and, and, and relax and get all set up. But I know the big talk is, or you know, this is the first real real game coming up where, um, you know, I know uh, our turnout fans will probably a, a little bit bigger than we had against Laurie for that first exhibition game. So our guys are excited. You know, this is fun time for them. They want to play in front of in front of their fans. Solway, David, David yeah. Solway. What's his condition? David, right now, um, did not skate today. He probably will not skate tomorrow again. He's heading back tomorrow um, to get just a, uh, a TC scan done, just to make sure everything's all right up top with, with his head there. Um, and once he if he gets cleared on that, we'll start getting him back onto the bike where he can get his blood pressure up and just make sure everything's okay instead of throwing him in. And um, the likelihood of David to be ready this weekend, I I still say doubtful. Um, I even if he's if he's 80, 90 percent, I still don't want him in there. I need him at 100, and I'd rather send him in another week here to just make sure that he's fully ready to go. Okay. But Providence is very likely. I mean, you're kind of I, I'm hoping, yeah. I'm, I'm shooting for Providence, yeah. Anything else, guys? I'm pretty good.